Hi guys, so welcome back to the channel. Um, a bit of a miserable video today. Things just don't seem to be going right at the moment. A bit of positivity. At um, the end of this video, we'll be looking at the new boy that I've got delivered. So, yeah, so we positive for a change. Uh, yeah, so let's not uh, rub it on. Let's just get into it and see what's been happening. Unfortunately, he didn't make it. A uh, couple of days it lasted, it seemed to be broken up. But yeah, it came out this morning and it was uh, floating on the top. But I'm not going to show you that, you don't want to see it. But I gave him another load of scrapes, pretty much every inch of his body. And this is what I found. So I've just done a course of flute peat which is good in all temperatures. Um, I was going to get the flu chem but apparently you have to turn your shower off when you're using flu chem so I went for fluke P. I've got that in this pond there and the thing is if you remember I had Jumpy McJunk face my little Logan that's uh, jumped out I had him in here um, and then my new fish got delivered even though the Ogon went from there to over there before the new fish are in and I did give it a good clean obviously there may be parasites in here which isn't ideal so yeah I'm just um, I'm finding it really strange as to why I didn't find flukes on the Sankey a couple of days ago when I scraped it when I thought it might be sleeping disease um, whether or not the flukes were just concentrated in one part of the body that I didn't scrape but I've been doing scrapes in that main pond for the last three or four weeks now just different fish just just because I've seen a little bit of flashing um, I'm just coming out of winter obviously you want to check that everything's all right but I haven't found anything but yeah like I said I scraped that Sankey when Danny was down there and uh, didn't find anything although I only scraped behind his fins and across his back on that day um, and when I just scraped the dead fish yeah it was mainly on his belly well I scraped on his belly as well as his behind his fins over his back around his gills pretty much everywhere so I must have just missed it um, but there you go um, we've got a fluke treatment in I'm going to redose again in seven days uh, as per the instructions and uh, Hopefully, that will solve the problem. Hi well, guys, so it's uh, a few days since I had the new fish uh, brought down uh, with Danny on Wednesday. So, as promised, we're going to take a look at them. Uh, it's a bit windy today, a bit warmer though, which is all good. Um, as you know, the both ponds are having a fluke treatment at the moment, all seem to be doing okay. Um, so yeah, let's get in and have a look at them. Uh, but before I do, um, I just want to give Will from Will's Koi uh, a little shout out. Now, you may or may not have seen, um, Will makes these amazing uh, little wire bonsai trees. I'll put some footage up there uh, of them. They're absolutely stunning. Um, he's been doing it a few months now and he's been getting better by the week. So, uh, if you want to go and take a look at some of Will's bonsais, head over to Will's Toy. I'll put the link, um, put a link to his channel in the description. 
Unfortunately, he did try and promote his uh, bonsai on a Facebook group the other day, but uh, Facebook mods, I think that's what they like to be called Facebook, Facebook gods sometimes, removed his post. Now I'm all about helping each other out. I don't know about you, but that's the way I am. But yeah, go and check out Will's, uh, Will's Poi and have a look at his amazing bonsais. So, it's time to get these out and have a look. Um, I've got seven that were brought down. And some Yoshiki Goi and a couple of amazing Shinodas, which I'll save till last. Uh, but yeah, I'll get the Yoshiki Goi's out first, then we'll have a look at the Shinodas last. A couple of amazing fish. Right, first up, got a little Ginrin Kahaku. Um, I haven't got any ginner in my pond at the moment. Oh, sorry, tell a lie just now. Um, but yeah, I want to start doing some more ginner in variety because I do really do bring out, bring out the pond. But this is from Yashiki Goi. Um, it's roughly 14 to 15 cm. Excellent condition. So look at that. Uh, any spot on the boat that goes up the fin. Cracking. So hopefully we're going to get some growth out of him this summer. So yeah, let's get him back in. There's coin number one. Right, so this is a Kim Kahaku. Again from Shiki Koi. He's coming in at uh, 19 cm. Mm, 20 cm now. Yeah, coming in at 20 cm. Another stunning fish. Three step. Looking forward to seeing that grow, to be honest. I did get this one for a bargain. I think I paid £17 for this one. Proper value for money. But yeah, again, he's going to stay in the uh, temporary pool. I hope they get some growth on him over the summer. Let's get him back in. Uh, next, another Yoshiki Goi. And it's all Chiba. Coming in at 20 cm. Try and get out the glare for you. Yeah, coming out at 20 cm. I wanted to get a young or cheaper. And uh, there's a, another little growing on project. Oh, quite clean. Slight little shimmy down the side there, but nothing, nothing major. He's certainly looking in good condition. Yeah. So, I want to get him back in. Next up, got a beautiful little saga. Yeah, I've been after one of these for quite some time now. And again, this is from Yashiki Goi. Currently coming in at 20 cm. If I'm right to believe, I think a saga is actually a scaled version of a shizui. And I do like a shizui. But yeah, I've seen a few of Danny's uh, sagas that he's been putting up in the auctions and they're little stunners. So, really looking to see how this one develops. Yeah, it's probably, yes, yeah, this is definitely my favourite one out of these shaky boys that I've picked up. So, hopefully, he'll be in the main pond by the end of the season. So let's get him back in. Okay, so another Yashiki Goi Ginrin Kahaku. Still got a lot of the Benny coming through on the back end. Not the prettiest, but this one was a bargain as well. <laughs> and he paid a few quid for it. So just a little growing on product. 
is about 17 cm. There's about 15 cm. Um, hoping some of the Benny will come through on his face, cover that up, but whether he does or not, who knows. Not a bad fish. Certainly got a uh, well. <laughs> wouldn't say it's got potential, but you never know. Let's get him back in. Right. So last but definitely not least, I've got uh, a shower and a sankey, a Deutsch shower and a Deutsch sankey, uh, both from Shinoda. Obviously paid a little bit more for this one. Lovely quality. Lovely quality. I've been looking for Deutsch varieties for some time now. Not a lot I can say about them right apart from they're absolutely stunning fish. Seems to have knocked himself on the back here. So, that temporary pool is salty, so hopefully that one out. I might have to get him out at some point and treat that. Just caught a little bit of skin. Pretty shame. Things ain't going right at the moment, but yeah, hopefully that's not too serious. Beautiful Sanke, beautiful colour distribution, yeah, and that shower, such a strong shoulder on him there, really looking to get some good growth out of that, absolutely stunning fish, terrible, so yeah, them are the, uh, the last two, We're really looking forward to seeing how they grow up. Right, so feed is set up. Just feeding them once a day at the moment. Uh, all back in the pond. So we'll leave them to set up. Main ponds obviously treated for flukes. They all seem to be doing okay in there, so I'll treat again next Friday, or which will be a week after the first treatment. So hopefully we can start getting some positivity. It's been a right rubbish couple of weeks. Hi hi, that's koi keeping for you. Okay guys, so uh, I've got this. Also got this feeder that I've managed to uh, dig out. It's been sat in my garage for a while. Um, it hasn't been used on the pond, so it hasn't been set outdoors. Not being used on ponds at all. Um, I literally run a couple of uh, feeds through it uh, when I bought it just to see how it feeded. Um, I'm one for trying out different feeders. Um, this, I was planning on putting this on my main pond once it was built, but then I decided for the super fish. Um, so yeah, this one's up for grabs. Everything comes with it. It's a bit, little bit dusty, not too bad. Some instructions, all the cables and everything. It's clean, very clean. Um, so I would say I'm looking for £50 on that um, if you want it delivered uh, it'd be an extra tenner I posted out the skimmer the other day and that was £10 posted so £50 collection uh, £60 posted uh, it doesn't come with the original box I did chuck that away um, but yeah it's uh, very clean and tidy not being used on the pond, not being outdoors, literally throwing a couple of feeds through it. So yeah, get in touch if you're interested in that. And I've also still got the seven by meter by eight meter PVC pond liner available. Um, so get in touch if you're, you're after the pond liner. I'm open for offers on that. Uh, emails at the bottom. Send me an email. Right, that's it for this one, guys. Um, hopefully now I'm paying books. I don't know what I'm dealing with. Uh, it's crazy how I've been paying anything up until now. So I'm just wondering whether they were just concentrated on a small spot on the coin, but there you go. It is what it is. Um, 
Glad to see the new fish in the tank before, get them quarantined. The selections made those the main pump pumps, all the problems are uh, done and dusted. So yeah, we'll leave it there for this one. Uh, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Next week, I'm going to be doing the 1000 subscriber giveaway, which uh, obviously I haven't been able to do because of the problems I've been having. So yeah, that'll be next week's video, the 1k sub giveaway. Uh, so make sure you subscribe to be in with the chance of entering that. So until next time, thanks for watching.